Hello, everybody out there in the social media world. Facebook over here, Instagram over here. We are live. Thursday. Yay, live Thursday. It's me again, two weeks in a row. Holy crap, who would have thunk it? Um, but yeah, I'm in town for just a little while, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice. Well, good morning, Keisha. Good morning, Miss Jones over in Instagram land. So glad that you're here. If you're joining us on Facebook, say good morning. All right, say good morning back. So we have been, hi. We have been just crazy busy around here. Uh, I'm gonna talk a lot about the fiber frolic this morning. So here's a funny story, right? When I started talking about this, I went down to jump. It's so nice to see. Well, so nice to see your, your icon there, Miss Jones. Love to see your face sometime. Maybe you'll come down to the Fiber Frolic and say hi. Um, so we're down at Jump. Uh, we've had you know several meetings over the last six months just talking about the Fiber Frolic, and then they have what they call the Flywheel Fest. Um, so it's all this agricultural stuff, um, and it's so much fun. Good morning, Heather. Um, and it's exciting because it's you know I think uh, my granddad always wanted to have. Uh, some kind of a museum that really focused on agriculture and so this is a great way to get people excited about ag which is super important stuff good morning Cindy I actually have classes on my list today I promise um, so anyhow we're in one of these meetings and it finally dawns on me good morning Mark finally dawns on me that we have the fiber frolic and the flywheel festival and I looked around at everybody and said oh my god this is gonna be an effing good time. So, Jump's like, well, we can't use that. And I'm like, hmm, I can. <laughs> it is going to be an effing good time. I'm gonna tell you all about it later. So, um, we'll kind of get started and we're gonna talk about, what are we starting with? We're gonna talk about what I'm wearing. So I knit this several years ago. I can't even tell you what the yarn is. It's a lovely, it's definitely a cotton, um, of some kind. Uh, it's very comfortable and light. I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, and it is called the Summer, spelled S-O-M-M-E-R, sleeveless top by Maria Chiba. Um, it was actually brought out by Juniper Moon and they originally knit it in Zoe. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Barbara. Uh, oh, Barbara's joined us on both. Good Lord. Good for you. Love it. Um, anyhow, so it was originally done in Zoe, but I had done it in this other yarn, which we don't have, and I cannot remember. I think it was like nettle. I think this one might have been nettle. Anyhow, um, it's a great little sleeveless top. Has a nice little v-neck on both the front and the back. Um, and it kind of fun. It sort of just blouses out a little bit uh, on the bottom. I like it. I might have lost a couple of pounds since I knit it. <laughs> Um, I haven't quite got it all back yet. Anyway, um, so I thought, well, here's a couple of great yarns and that we're gonna, so we have some new yarns and we're so excited. Um, first of all, we get in Cash Merino by Ella Ray. Did anybody ever knit? Um, can someone figure out how to make dog hair into yarn? I have a ton. Uh, Mark, there are people that do that. That is a thing. I'm sure you Google it and find a YouTube or two. Good morning, Marietta. Anyhow, so we have El Array uh, has put out this Cash Merino. It's a lovely sport weight, 50 gram put up, so it's nice and it's great for color work. Um, a lot of baby things. But did anybody ever knit with Debbie Bliss's uh, baby Cash Merino? Anybody out there remember that lovely yarn? Well, guess what? This is it with just a different label on it. So it's the same great yarn. Um, it's so super soft. I think it's got like, it's 137 yards, 12% um, uh, cashmere. We have 33% acrylic and 55% merino. Um, but you can put this in the washing machine, which is super cool. Oh, see, Cheryl did. She said it was great. Well, it's back. Yay! We have a, so a, many, many lovely colors. So this would be a great option for this top. We also have in 
Silk Garden Sock. Look at that. Some beautiful, beautiful Noros. Silk Garden Sock. So excited to have this back. Funny thing is, this actually gauges up. It's called Silk Garden Sock. Gauges up at a sport, and I think it might even be listed on Ravelry's a DK. So just pick the right needles, okay? Um, anyhow, this would make a great yarn for this cute little top. Highly recommend that one. Come in and check it out. As a matter of fact, hey, guess what? I already have the giveaway picked out this week. It's this. You get two skeins of Silk Garden Oro. Um, you come in and pick out your own colors. So anyhow, that's a great one. And of course, we have the Zoe. So, um, and I think we just got a bunch of new ones in. Hey, Sherry, good morning. Good morning, Amber. Um, so we have a bunch of new uh, Zoe colors in. So come in and check it out. This is, again, a super fun, easy top to knit up. I don't know if you could see it so good from there, but you can see it kind of has these diagonal stripes that go down through it on the bias. Kind of makes it fun. It's a little eye-catching. It's got a little different panel uh, in the middle here. So super easy and fun. Quick knit. Come in and check it out. Um, so what am I knitting on? Remember last week when I brought the blanket that I've been knitting on forever? Yep, it's the same thing. <laughs> but I finally took Sunday and I sat in my chair all day. Thank you, Ellen. Good morning. I sat all day and knitted and I put the Netflix, actually finished a series, watched the third season of another one. And it was a beautiful day. Funny story though, my body hurt afterwards from sitting all day. But mm -hmm, that's all right, sometimes you gotta do it. So here is my bag of gratitude I have here. Um, and inside my bag of gratitude is my Go Knit bag. Look at this, isn't this great? This is the one that Alexandra, you always see on Alexandra when she comes in. Oh, thank you, Sherry. You always see this on Alexandra. It's got this cool snappy thing here, so you can, you can put it, I'm gonna put it on the belt. And then she walks around as she's selling all the yarn in the store um, and knitting the whole time. And she's got her little project right here on her hip. So let's open this baby up and I'll show you the progress. All right. You ready? Here we go. Ta-da! I got a lot done. Blankets take forever. <laughs> Good morning, Bernie. Thank you. Forever. But it's getting there. Look at this thing. Somebody's baby's going to be very snugly warm in this gorgeous little um, blanket. Once I get it done, I'll, I think I will be selling it. I'm going to put it on sale. Yours, $500, because that's how much time it's taking. <laughs> And it's a steal of a deal, let me tell you. So I'm using the Ella Ray, it's right here. The Ella Ray Eco Merino Cotton. So we've got about one, two, three, four colors, five colors left in this. Um, and I'm gonna be telling you in a little bit that we're having a flash sale going on uh, through Sunday. And that's one of the yarns that's on sale, 25% off. I'll take you on a little tour about that later. Thank you, Miss Kristen. Hey, Kristen, you, I still have, uh, you won one of the um, giveaways and I still have that bag for you. I gotta get it to you. Bernie, um, the, the pattern is Summer Sleeveless Tank, spelled S-O-M-M-E-R. I think Chad probably dropped it in the comments right there. So there you go. Anyhow, so I know you guys are dying to hear about my bag of gratitude here. You know, that was one of our words. Isn't that, that's one of our big words this year. One of our motor, motivators, gratitude. This is a gorgeous canvas bag. Um, and it's got, you know, the big tote bag. So it's got the big handles, throw it over your shoulder, and it's got these great leather handles um, to hold on to, and they're fabulous. Uh, it's got, so it's a tote, right? It's, it's big and empty. Um, it does have one nice size pocket in there. It's got a nice little snap to keep it closed. Uh, we happen to have it in three fabulous colors. So the olive, and we have it in this beautiful blush pink, and then a regular white canvas. So come in and get a bag of gratitude. 
Um, they're pretty awesome. So, and these are 40 bucks. Um, come in and check that out. We have our fabulous Go Knit bags. We've got those in a couple of different um, sizes and a rainbow of colors. You gotta come and check out the rainbow of Go Knit bags. This one, the medium one is selling for 32. And then we also have some Go Knit Notion bags too. So you gotta come in and check those out. I have one other bag I was gonna show you. It's made by the same company that did the gratitude bags. Um, and so it's again, it's another tote. Um, it's got a, this one has an outside pocket. It's got an adjustable strap, um, shoulder strap, two little handles. But then this one has this really cool, um, it's a Velcro thing. Undo it, okay? So it's got uh, a nice big pocket for your laptops. Good morning, Kay. Oh, hello, Idaho. I'm so glad you've joined us. And my belt just came unbuckled. I'm gonna put myself back together here. Um, anyhow, so these are fabulous bags as well. Great big totes. They have this cool gray one. Uh, and then just the regular white and they're up campus as well. Nice, hearty, fabulous bags. And who doesn't need a little love? It's, it's backwards, so it looks like bold, but it's love. Um, anyhow, those are our bags. That's what I'm knitting. Still the blanket. My God, it's gonna get done though. I am, I am committed to two rows a day. I'm gonna get it done. All right, the fiber frolic. Why the fiber frolic? I started this three years ago. The purpose was to introduce people to all the cool things that you can do with fiber. Um, people kind of get stuck on the one thing, right? So trying to introduce them and encourage them to dabble in some other things. Um, and so we started doing that and bringing in vendors that would show you all the different things you can do with, the, with it. And then, um, so this last year, we just decided to see if we couldn't go a little bigger. Um, get out in front of more people. Good morning, Heather. Um, get out in front of more people. I think most of the people were kind of in front of because we just kept it small. We're here at the store. We're our peeps and we love our peeps. And there are plenty of our peeps that, that I hope got introduced to some new stuff. I want to get in front of people that have, don't even know about us. And believe it or not, there are people that don't know about us yet. I want to get those people that have never knitted before, never picked up a crochet hook, they want to give it a try. So we teamed up with Jump and we're going to do a nice, you know, I've got, I think I have 11 vendors signed up to be there. Um, uh, we have, we've got three loves is coming over um, from Nampa to set up a booth with us. We're really excited about that. Uh, hi, Ellen, what did you just buy? Oh, did you just buy the pattern for this? It's lovely. I love it. You're gonna love it too. All right, so, um, Anyhow, so I got off track. So we wanted to go big and I want to get in front of as many people as I can that, that I can't get in front of just through my Facebook and my Instagram. And so we teamed up with Jump and they're happening to be doing the Flywheel Fest. And I think with, I think we're just gonna have a huge, hopefully huge broad reach um, and really suck a bunch of people in um, to fiber arts. Uh, Cause it's so cool. And I think everybody needs a little fiber art in their life. Um, and we decided this year too, I had talked, uh, teamed up with the Idaho Wool Growers Association and decided to take on this yarn bombing art installation project. Um, and I've talked about it a couple of times. I had all these, I had four different boxes made up. I did a knitting box, a crocheting box, a belt box, and a, and a weaving box. You actually DIY'd the, um, the uh, box into a loom. Um, and I sent these out. I made over 600 of these boxes uh, and they went out to schools, uh, mostly elementary, a couple of high schools, and then some senior centers took them on as well. So I sent all of them out and said, hey, I need at least one of these squares back um, because I've got to put them all together and, and we're going we're gonna to do an art installation down at Jump, but you can't guess what we're going to do. I'm not going to say it yet. Not out loud. Not, not on live. So anyhow, so now I've got all these squares and I have been super, super busy. I have this really cool machine that I got. I bought a yarn or a, a knitting machine from a gal and she had like all this stuff and I took it over to my wonderful friend Heidi over at, uh, so she was Luxadorna and now she has the knitting machine school. 
And so I went over there. When is the fiber event? Bernie, it is August 7th. Good morning, Kathy. August 7th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, and so I took this stuff over to Heidi. I said, Heidi, what did I get? Because I had no idea. And she's like, oh, it's a great knitting machine. It's in great shape. Oh, and this thing is called a linker. You're going to love it. So it's kind of sat in my garage, my shop for two years. And I'm like, this is a perfect opportunity to get my linker out. So I got my linker out and I started linking. I had to tear the thing apart to get all the parts and pieces working, but it's so cool. It's not computerized. And so I could tinker with it and kind of figure it out and figure out how they got all the things working. And it was awesome. So I've been linking like a mad woman and I've got lots more linking to do, but this is what it's kind of turning out to look like. So I have all these cool, these ones are just a bunch of woven squares, and then I link them together. You can see I use this lovely peach yarn, which Chadwick, don't let me leave without some heritage sock yarn, because I'm almost out of the peach, and I need the sock yarn in order to do the linking. Tried to do it with the worst weight, and that didn't go over so good. Anyhow, so this was all created by kids that had never, and they loved it. We had such a great response. Um, from the schools, the kids had so much fun. Um, here's another one. And I think some of the teachers brought yarns from other places as well, because there's a little bit of this, that pretty soft stuff. So here's another one. And I am, I am just a linking mad woman. Um, I think I have one. Oh, here's one with some knitted and crocheted and woven, all of the things. Isn't that so cool? And then the last one, this is actually the first one that I put together. And this one has got some of the, this is all one school, I think. Um, and we put, make sure it's going the right way. And this one has some of the felted, cool felted things. These kids got so creative. Let me get up close so you can see some of those. They got so creative with those felt and it was just so much fun to see what they come up with loved it it was it it has been a great experience doing it again next year so very busy doing that i'm going to be linking we start putting the art installation together next a week from yesterday starting to feel the pressure a little bit it's all right though it's going to be amazing and i'm super excited these kids get to come down and it was so cool to be able to put a community project that required people to essentially work together, but without having to be together, um, which was kind of crucial uh, in the last year. So it was a ton of fun. You guys have got to come down and see it. The art installation, it's going to be at Jump and it'll actually be up all month. Um, but come check it out. We're going to unveil it at the Fiber Frolic, August 7th, 10 to 4. Um, so we have got, we, and I do want to do, quick moment, big thank you to Knitting Fever, um, who graciously donated a ton of yarn um, for this project that we'd sent out to the kids. Bryson, who donated a ton of needles and hooks, um, and to the folks over at the Idaho Wool Growers Association and for all of their support in this. Uh, it has been super cool and it you know takes a team, it takes a village to get it done. So uh, again, 10 a.m. to 4, okay? Natalia is in charge of and heading up, she's like the cruise director, um, for the kids' activities, uh, which will actually be set up inside Jump. Um, she'll have some tables set up with some different things that the kids can do to kind of play around with fiber and some of the different things that, 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 they, that they would be able to take home and do that day. Um, she'll also have a couple of demos going on. I think we're going to have the, our friend that does the branch weaving will be there. Uh, and Natalia's going to be doing some silk felting demonstrations, which is another really cool thing that the kids can do. Um, and they make great gifts. Um, so there's that happening. If you took a moment, if you Googled cutest sheep ever, you're going to get the black nose by A. And we've got some coming. We've got a guy here in Meridian that has... Um, been a part of the breed up program because you can't actually import the sheep uh it's it's from europe um and they actually carry a, a virus um and so they don't want to introduce it to our domestic flock so you're not allowed to bring the sheep in uh you have to be part of this breed up program where you bring over sperms and embryos and things like that and this guy's been a part of it and he's got some really cute sheep 
Uh, so they will be there. Idaho Wool Growers is organizing some she shearing demonstrations. Um, we're still waiting on times and stuff for that, but we'll have all that stuff posted up. We've got a website, a page on our website, and we'll have um, activities and times and things like that posted next week. Uh, we're also going to have, um, I'm going to, I would try to pronounce the last name, but I know I'm going to screw it up, but it's a lovely Basque family from Gooding. Uh, and they are actually bringing one of their shepherd's trailers in so that you can get a look at them. The Basque Museum is going to be there. There is such a rich history of, of sheep and sheep herding in Idaho um, that is just really cool to learn about. So that's going to be happening down there. Um, Chadwick has dropped uh, the link in here to our website and hopefully to the event on Facebook. If you would all please, please do me a kindness and share that um, and ask your friends to share that. I'm really trying to get some reach on this just so I can get more people um, you know, in front of fiber because they never know that might be the, the thing that they love the most and they don't know until they get in front of it and they need to know this is happening. So if you would please do that for me, I would appreciate it greatly. Takes a village, takes all of us to get this done. All right, so what else is new at the U? Stephanie has really raised the bar as far as um, our gifting and stuff like that goes. She's got some really cool stuff in. Um, but we're gonna start with uh, these super cute mugs. I love them. Um, and really reasonable price, they're like 15 bucks, okay? And they're all gonna be backwards because, you know, I got a camera facing me so I can see myself. Um, but I can tell you, this one says, let that shiitake go with an adorable little mushroom. Um, coffee is my spirit animal. Look at that. These are so cute. This is my favorite. There's a chance. This is wine. There's a slight chance. Slight chance of meatballs. So, um, come in and check those out. Uh, I'm going to take you on a walkabout real quick and we're going to go visit. So when, it, when we moved over to this building, we started this whole new logo and this branding thing. And a friend of mine who put together the logo for me, um, she put on there, there was this banner that said a collective of sorts because I wanted to do more than just yarn. And so I now have, oh, hi, Natalia. Hi. Yeah, everybody say hi to Natalia. Hi. Um, so we have a we finally have a collective of sorts. So I'm gonna take you over here, so hold on. We're gonna walk over here. I'm gonna hopefully not make you too uh, sick, because that's no fun. All right, and then we're gonna get the camera switched over, so patience, please. I always gotta figure out where it is on Insta. Okay, oh, I switched it back. <laughs> Tapped it too many times. Okay, now say hi to Chadwick. Hi, Chadwick. Come in and say hi while you can, because he's not here for much longer. God bless him. All right, so here we go. She has these super cute organized things, right? And we have a couple of new colors in. We got them in green, and we have it in this lovely blue. She has these cute little tins that are great for stitch markers and stuff. A lovely new journal, all kinds of cards. These, again, are some fun little tins, great for stitch markers as are these what are these called what are these little cookies called Macaroon. macaroons aren't they so cute look at those the mango they're adorable all right so up here she has some new she told me what to call them koozies wasn't the word i'm gonna call them drink coolers okay <laughs> she said koozies wasn't the word anymore <laughs> So regardless, they're super adorable with a little touch of sass in them. I love that. Stay weird, I need that one for sure. Fun, fantastic, just clever, clever little stickers. Isn't that fun? And then she has lots of cards. I like those little cards. I've been writing so many cards this year. Thank you, cards. So look at all this. It is certainly a collective of sorts. Here's her fabulous candles that are selling like crazy. Come check them out. I like those cards too. This owl is probably my favorite. Isn't she adorable? All right. 
All right, so those are all the fun new things. We're gonna switch you back over. I got one. There it goes, hi. We're back and we're gonna head back over to my little corner of the world, of the store. Um, oh, hey, guess what? We're gonna switch you back while I got you off and we're freestyling here. I'm gonna show you, this is our lash sale, 25% off. We have got, um, oh, that isn't even listed. Oh, there it is. Ba oh, bamboo wool is what it's supposed to be, not bamboo pop. All right, and here is that eco merino cotton, not merino cotton, huh? Organic, eco organic cotton. We have some Alexandra's one offs, which are fun. Um, ultra soft concept. Got some fabulous colors left of that. And here's just some odds and ends. Looks like we've got some Malabrigo in there. So 25% off through Thursday. Highly suggest you get in here and take advantage of that as soon as you can. Oh, my Insta switched around. Okay, so back on the stand. There we go. We made it, didn't drop anything. Always a success. Okay, what else do we have? We have, so these are fun. These are new. I probably should have walked by over there. So she got in these really super cute kits, okay, from Kareem Lampier. And they're kind of, it's a felted applique. So you're sewing it. Um, and she's actually, Stephanie's working on one. I am encouraging her to dabble a little bit in some of the arts. Um, I'm not going to say she's resistant, but she's getting it done. <laughs> Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Okay, so this is the one that she's working on. This is our little sampler, and it's a cute little pin cushion. Look at all the little different stitches. Okay, and it has these great directions in there. Kind of shows you all the different, you know, their stitch guide, all the different stitches and how you do them. That's so good. She says the instructions have been really good. Um, and they have, so they include the felt and she's got it cut out. So she's, you know, they have you cut kind of like sewing, right? You're cutting these little patterns out. Um, see, cutting them out. She's already, she's got some stitching going on there. It's fun. Love your tank. Oh, thank you. Uh, you can get the pattern on Ravelry, but we don't have the yarn anymore. But Kim, I've got some great yarns that you can do it. Amber, I think these are super fun, all right? So then you get all the floss that you need, these fun pens, little rainbow colors, that's kind of nice. Um, and yeah, so it has all the instructions on how to put these little things together. Uh, she's got quite a few, I just brought over a few samples. So here's the llamas. And I think this is something your kiddos could do. We got a couple weeks before school starts still. I'm so tired of mine being stuck on her screen. All right. Here's a fun little woodlands, woodland scene. Uh, and these are ranging from 15 to, I think this one is 31, but you get the big hoop in there as well. So those, and again, that's just a smidgen of what she's got here. There's a whole bunch of them over there. Uh, so you gotta come in and check them out. All right, um, I'm gonna talk classes now. You guys ready for classes? How's everybody? I am just going on and on and on. I haven't, I haven't interacted very much yet. I should, I kind of had this fun idea. Um, I want to do some more like branded stuff, like my own project bags and things like that. And I'm trying to think of these fun little, you know, kitschy or witty things. And I got to thinking, you see all those memes that are, now, now I'm losing my train of thought. I just thought it'd be really cool if I put out a thing that said, hey, to all my non-fiber art people, um, what does the acronym SSK mean to you? And it'd be fun to see what kind of answers you get. So I thought that would be fun. Anybody have any fun ideas for some little kitschy things that you put on a bag that people would want? Um, love this Thursday morning live. Carrie, thank you. So many, God, so many awesome new things. They're, Stephanie is just doing an amazing job with the ordering. 
um, and keeping it super fresh. It's a lot of fun. So if you guys think of some kitschy little things to say, some witty things, some ideas, throw them out there. I'll steal them from you. Um, so classes. Uh, I'm going to do them in order of ones that are coming at the soonest. August 1st, which I think is this Sunday, is going to be the macrame plant holder. If you ever wanted to try macrame, now's your chance. And we have a whole, and I showed everybody the beautiful wall last week. Um, this is my ball sack. I've seen that one. That one is so good. Kim, that is for sure. That's a winner. So um, it's a pretty good sized uh, plant holder. I wish I had a pot to kind of put in there. It would go in right about here, I think, is where the plant probably would sit. Um, anyhow, if you've ever wanted to do macrame, just give it a try. This is a fantastic opportunity. We have some super fun colors of uh, cord in here. Um, so if you're interested, August 1, this Sunday, get on and sign up. Uh, second class is the bamboo pup hat. No, bamboo bloom hat. Um, you know that fabulous bamboo bloom everybody loves so much? Well, we're gonna do this cute little easy beginner hat class. And a little pump on it. So this one should be fun if you've wanted to do a hat. This is a good one to do. This would be an easy one to knit up for gifts and stuff as well. Because it is time to start thinking about that, people. Everybody in the meeting yesterday, or one body in the meeting yesterday, is like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we got through all of July without having to talk about Christmas in July. I'm like, yeah, I, I've given up on it. I've been trying to get people trained up on that and they're just resistant. So start knitting your gifts now, make a plan. <laughs> You'll be happier this holiday season. Oh, nobody listens to me or like my kids. Um, so uh, the KAL, Cindy's Knit Along starts on August 2nd, meets every Monday. It's 25 bucks and she's doing these really super cute socks. Uh, they're called the Ginger Fox Sock. Um, poor, poor Carolyn, indeed. Kim, it is frustrating. Um, anyhow, so uh, Ginger Fox Socks look like a super fun uh, sock. If you've ever wanted to do socks, this is a great time. Uh, and they are really cute, like really cute. I, I don't have a sample to show you or I would. I don't even think, you know what? I have a picture. Stay right there. So, and we're knitting it out of this super fun new uh, Tweety DK that we got. Look at that. So these are the super cute socks. Look at the little fox face. Isn't that adorable? And it's got some little designs up on top, up on the cup. So super simple sock, some color work. You get to learn all kinds of great, cool things with this class. So not even class, it's a knit along. So. Sign up for the knit along. I forgot my paper. Here it is. Starting August 2nd and meets on Mondays throughout the month. Um, the next one is branch weaving. So we did a branch weaving um, this last month. Here is a sample of what this looks like. And it was fantastic. People loved it so much that we, uh, we have another one coming up on August 15th. It's $45, which is a steal of a deal because you get the stuff with it. And this is amazing. Oh God, you know, you're gonna have to turn off your breaking news stuff because it keeps flashing stuff and I keep reading what the breaking news is. Anyhow, um, so if you look at this, so she goes out and finds these branches, okay? And then she goes through and she cuts little notches in all of it to create the warp. And she does all of that for you. There is so much labor and love involved in this already. Um, and then you get to learn how to do some cool weaving. Look at that. So if you've ever thought about doing that, even if you haven't thought about doing that, do it. All right, August 15th, and that one is $45. Again, steal of a deal. Um, all right, uh, the last one I'm going to talk about today. Right back. Oh, is Cindy's super cute unicorn trails little baby cardigan isn't that adorable look at this 
So, and I think we're just using heritage sock as the base, and then we have some little unicorn tails um, to add with the color. It's got some cute little details on the cuffs and at the bottom. So, that one is starting uh, August 16th, uh, and it's worth $75. And you're going to meet, I think, for three, you have three sessions, but it is a super cute cardigan. I wonder if they do adult sizes in this. Does it go all the way up to adult sizes? I don't know, but it should. It should. I think, just... I think all baby cardigans should have adult sizes because they're cute. <laughs> all right. Well, you guys, I think that's all my stuff. Cindy, did I get all the classes? Did I miss anything that you want me to talk about? And I think we're getting our September classes up very, very soon. Matter of fact, I'm hoping to have a nice list to show people at the Fiber Frolic where it's going to be an effing good time. That's my new tagline. You don't want to miss it. I'm telling you. Cindy said this month is covered. Okay, I got it. I did it. I did it. All right, you guys. Um, so we have a giveaway. I'm not going to forget. Chad didn't have to remind me. <laughs> See, it just takes a while to get back in the rhythm of things when you've been on vacation. Um, again, we are giving away two skeins, uh, which is enough to do this top, um, a small one, I believe, <laughs> um, of our Noro Silk Garden Sock. We have a bunch of fabulous colors. You can see them, they're back there. That's the Silk Garden Sock right there, those two shelves. Oh. Well, Facebook, it's those two shelves. <laughs> um, anyhow, so we have great colors. Um, you come in and pick them out or give us a call if you're not in the area and we'll get it figured out and get them sent to you. All right, so, oops, somebody's trying to jump out of the bowl. Here we go, here we go, who's our winner? Here we are. Oh, Mary Berry. Mary Berry's a winner. Congratulations. Oh, God. Mercy's on both, too. They're, I got people on both Facebook and the Instagram. That's kind of fun. I love you guys. You're so cool. You're like my favorites. So, anybody got anything else? Any questions? Anything I can clarify? Anything I can do for you? Come in and say hi and bye to Chadwick. He's only got couple weeks left like less than two weeks now right yeah August 10th is his very very last day now we gotta figure it out without him <sighs> we'll muscle through it we'll give it a try you guys are so awesome and so patient all right you guys oh Marcy I am so excited to see you soon Oh, very merry. I always want to say very merry. <laughs> merry very rarely wins stuff. Well, I'm so glad that you got to win today. Um, Heather, we will miss him. But hopefully he'll stay in the valley for a while and we can talk him into coming down to stitch night and keep his knitting up, which he's going to have all the time to do now. Good morning, Pat Parker. All right, you guys. Have a great Thursday. This weekend, we're gonna get a little bit of break from this heat, which will be so very nice and welcome. Um, it may be rainy, great time to sit inside and do some knitting, maybe, or crocheting, or knitting machine, or linking. I'll be doing a lot of linking, lots of linking. It's fun though, I'm super excited. I've never yarn bombed anything before, so I think it's gonna be super cool. All right, you guys. Um, have a great Thursday. Uh, we'll see you next Thursday and then on the Saturday because that'll be August 7th because the fiber frolic is less than two weeks away. Like it's getting close to one week away. I'm getting a little nervous. It's going to be great though. It's going to be awesome. Uh, you guys, I love you. Stay twisted and we're going to see you. We're going to see you in a week or if you come in the store, maybe we'll see you sooner. All right, you guys. Bye.